Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Great Malabite Ifeni, one of those persons uh, missing in action on Saturday. Good morning. All Ruth. your fans were asking for you. Yes. Where is the Great Malabite? <laughs> Where were you? Church matters. No, no, no. no. I, I was taking a well deserved rest. Oh, yeah. And uh, doing some, um, my, my, my usual pastime. Which is? Gardening. My gardener was around, so yeah. I had to supervise him. Ah, okay. I have over, over 50 plants in my compound. And also, yeah, Real, a good one. Real yes. Madrid is your pastime. Yes. So your team won over the weekend. Yes. <laughs> that was how I concluded the weekend okay. last night. Real yeah, Madrid. congratulations, Ruben. Yeah, when will you stop you. winning awards? Ah. Since, we start, since our university days, you'll be winning awards. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Can't stop. Rufai, good morning. Congratulations to all of us. Thank you so much. Congratulations, uh, Victoria Tudu F. Gila Viola. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yes. Mr. Fede. You know, they're listening to you because on my award, they wrote Tundu Victoria Correct. Viola. Uh, Correct. <laughs> they wrote Victoria Viola. <laughs> well, it's just that we don't have, we don't use titles like journalist Abiola. Otherwise, <laughs> you'll have gotten a new, a new title. Welcome to the journalism. Club. What a warm welcome. Yeah. Thank you so now, let's much. Now, let's start the review, but I must also congratulate all of us. Yes. 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 The whole job. team. Yes. And, and these people were harass the people in the... Uh, in the gallery. In the gallery. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the yourself, producers. Yes, yes the producers. Yes. The no, no we are all guilty. We are harass <laughs> <laughs> But we must also say congratulations to Prince Unduka oh, yes. the Vishaga, yes. and Executor in Chief of yes. the Vision. Yes. Yes. Congratulations, the Duke, <laughs> the one we call the Publisher. <laughs> so that means after here, we are going there for the implication. Well, uh, uh, Rufa, you are enough, you are big enough to sponsor. To provide implications. To sponsor implications. So implications. Ruben, when you are big, you are big. Yes. You can sponsor okay. the implications. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll get everybody implicated. <laughs> now, now the, the review will start with this day as usual. Nigeria's newspaper of record. The lead story, Akere Dolu, plan to amend constitution over VAT will be dead on arrival. Says Southern Governors supports electronic transmission of election results. Won't South... No, won't Sovereign Wealth Fund instead of NMPC to manage host community fund in PIA, yes. Now, of course, also on the front page of the newspaper of this day, you see the story of, yeah, the Monday interview. So, Olu, my re-election decision in the hands of Legosians, not in the hands of one man, maybe at Bodelon Road. But the governor is speaking, and truly, the people should decide whether he has performed to end re-election, another tenure. At the appropriate time, we'll all be part of that decision. Now, for Akere Dulu, yes, Ruben, he was on your program yesterday, and clearly he's saying that we, the Southern governors, clamor for true federalism, and true federalism includes fiscal federalism. There's no room for equivocation. Southern governors have taken a decision. Really? Because one southern governor I know has dissociated himself. I wouldn't say Dave Umay of Ebony State is doing that because of his new political friends. Because the resolution of the southern governor is a bipartisan resolution. Well, we'll see how it pans out, whether the constitution can be amended. But the F. IROS already they've been receiving commission for collecting the VAT. But where the, the VAT should be paid to the states who, according to this ruling of the courts, yes, that is the extant law. Yes, there is um, the appeal court ruling that they should stay um, execution. But clearly, the law, as we know it today, the extant law is that value-added tax belongs to the states. The FRS is not fighting for itself as a body. It's the place of the hand of Esau and the voice of Jacob. The federal government 
wants that money. And the FIRS is the body they have to use to fight this out. Now, other newspapers are also uh, commenting. They also have VAT-related stories. The Punch newspaper, VAT by states, a joke comment. Masari under fire. Akiru says, FRS planned amendment dead on arrival. VAT collection battle. Test for Nigeria's democracy. Lagos tells Casina governor. Free money has made states lazy. Pandev replies Masari on comment. More states will support us to kill FIRS planned amendment. Akiru Now, the Vanguard newspaper also on VAT. VAT war, OPS, organized private sector, fears double payment heads to court. Amendments sought by FRS at National Assembly dead on arrival. Akerodulu. Now, let's look at other stories quickly. Now, the Guardian newspaper, manufacturers demand for forex nears $2 billion amid scarcity. Weak Naira, the Guardian is reporting. Middle-class Nigerians shop for stable dollar as FS crisis continues. Nigeria, no, Naira in moment of decision. Trades at 570 Naira to the dollar. I hope aboki.com has stopped its speculation, which has been affecting the Naira. CBN governor has stated that in very stern voice. Now, the Daily Independent newspaper, forest scarcity manufacturers grown, shut down production lines. Worried dollar may exchange for 700 naira by December. Say forest situation has become major driver of inflation. May cause job losses, higher poverty, increased security. Well, maybe we should produce more. That is the panacea. Produce, produce more for export. Put your schools in order so that we, less and less number of children are going to school abroad. Put your health facility in order so that medical tourism that also takes a sizable chunk of forex will be reduced to some extent. Now, let's look at the leadership newspaper, 2023. Northern elders take on southern governors, reject power shift. Say, not will continue to lead Nigeria. Stop self-help on that war to avoid anarchy. ACF wants. No region can solve own problems alone. Lawan. Well, the Northern Elders Forum, their pronouncement on the presidency coming to the south in 2023. I think they had better watch what they say. Someone, yes, one was saying heavens will not fall if the Northerner becomes president in 2023. I'm also saying the heavens will not fall if an Igbo man becomes president in 2023 or an Urobo man becomes president. After all, Senate Deputy President is an Urobo man. It's not far away from number one position. <laughs> yes. But I think Baba, Akim Baba Ahmed uh, has to watch his tongue. I don't expect really that kind of uh, statement from him. He's too enlightened, obeying, to make that kind of statement. But I hope he will retract that or amend it or blame the media for misquoting him, which is the way out. Now, the Daily Trust newspaper, federal government loses billions, imports revenue. Over stalled boat service contract. NPA, fa for, yeah, NPA fails to engage new firms after Intel's row. At least 58 billion naira lost in 12 months. Findings. Authority has no capacity to provide service. The matter is in court. NPA. You stop somebody from collecting the revenue, now nobody is collecting the revenue. How to church change government? The NPA way. Now, the Business Day newspaper, inside story of electronic bank fraud in Nigeria. I'm sure bank, those who use bank for, uh, services will want to read that story. Now, the foreign newspapers quickly. The Daily Telegraph newspaper, Johnson to press U.S. to open up for U.K. visitors. Yes, in his first visit to 
President Biden, the Prime Minister, will be asking for the UK, for the US to open up for UK visitors. But he will also use the opportunity to press on issues pertaining to climate change. Now, the, the Wall Street Journal, Wall Street Journal, rising gas prices, test supply fears, heating fuel reaches levels not seen in years, prompting worry about winter shortages. But in the UK, they have similar problem, but the government is guaranteeing that there will be no shortage, although small suppliers of gas may just go bust. And it will lead to increase in prices. And as the Times is putting it, the Times of UK is putting it there. Taxpayers face bill for propping up energy firms. Yes, mm. citizens may have yeah. to subsidize the firms, yeah. according to the Times report. Well, Robert Rufai. Well, and Tundu, thank you looking very, very dashing in wishing. that orange jacket. Thank uh, you okay, so you guys much. just like my orange shade and yeah. right. you think okay. Ruben is not about attending no, parties. We have a way of communicating. <laughs> thank, <laughs> you. Okay. We do. Uh, thank you very much, Efeni. Yes. We seem to have run out of time. Thank you for the uh, newspaper review.